Hey folks, David Snyder, Whiskey City Trad Gear. I am over here with a good buddy of mine, Randy Glowing. I really enjoy you, yeah, brother. I really enjoy you. If there's a better guy in, the, in this sport, I haven't met him. I really enjoy Randy. I Thank love you. everything you've got going on at Safari Stuff. I own a ton of your products myself. Um, and I always like to stop and talk to you when we do these shows. So, hey, there's some new stuff. I noticed yesterday at the Kalamazoo Bow Show here, there was all the, the Safari Tuck booth. And, I mean, you get big booths because yeah, they're always yeah. packed with people. I had to make more room. Yes, you had to. And more products coming out. Yeah, and that's what I want to talk to you about. So one thing that I've seen a lot of people leaving here with yesterday is what you got on. Yeah, Tell me about yeah. your new bino. Case. We, we yeah. sold out of these cases this weekend. I wish I'd have brought more. I have designed a bino case because... I had a drawer full of them at home, and yeah. none of them was what I wanted. Mostly they're noisy, some of them hard to work, but not bad. I mean, they're good quality. Right, right. Hey, they're that, but they weren't no, what I, I wanted. Good. And so I designed a vinyl case that's quiet. It has a simple way on the top of just unhooking it. Yeah. And there's a hook on the bottom. That keeps that flap down. That keeps down. that flap down. Yes. It's all quiet. The same fleece material on the outside or inside. That. It almost stays up without, yeah. so, yeah. Uh, there's a couple nice little pockets, one on each side to put whatever you want in there. The big thing is I have a phone, a place to put your phone. I love it. And it's in here. It's against your body. Keeps and it warm. Eat. Yeah, so I'm just going to so say. So your battery's not going to drain. battery's not draining. <laughs> now, that was, time. that's intuitive right there. Um, it comes with, I have, when you get it, it'll take a little time setting up because I have so much strapping on it and stuff it's totally adjustable that way no matter how big you are there's plenty there if that's my next question if you're smaller you might have to cut some off but there's plenty to there's go backwards plenty. plenty to go forward yeah so they're big guy friendly or small guy friendly. exactly down. exactly it totally adjust difference. even the straps that hold on the binder totally adjustable every everything on here is adjustable to get it where you oh, want oh wait a minute wait a minute now let me just talk about that just a second because i just like what i just saw you leave like standing props okay okay folks and you got some nice binders going away but i wouldn't expect anything less for the critters he chases but anyway uh uh yeah so basically there it is outside the bag inside the bag they're attached up here that's yeah. it that's yeah. it Yep. And That's it. And what's this? Just a little accessory. This pack? is this is a rangefinder pouch I made. Of course, of course. And that, and, and then, it's attached too. And there's a tether, because a lot of times if you don't, you don't want to mess around putting it back in. You can just let it hang. Just it, 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 if the moment of truth creeps up on you yeah. quickly, and you don't, I can't tell you how many times the noise has been such an issue. It seems like every time you got to do something, it's dead. It's quiet. No. And taking this in and out is such a big thing for guys. There's nothing. There's no noise there at all. No, it's 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 been a great it's been a I great I love the way I love the way you came up with the, the hooks. Because the hooks are noiseless. Simple. It's yeah. simple and noiseless. Yeah. You know, a snap would be noise. And a zipper would be noise. There's no magnets in it to mess up the compass. There is it. That's, that's what I love. That's that what for. this and and this I even built. And this this is simple, and it took a long time to come up with. I hate to say, oh no, I get the simplest thing. But also, you need because this thing's going to last probably forever. But I made it so you can replace the elastic. That's about the only thing on here that that may go eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you call us or whatever, we send you something. You can you can replace this because other than that, there's really nothing on here that should wear out. Right. like the rest of my stuff. Right. You know, no, no, I get it. It's made. This is also, I have it made to attach so it can't Come go on. all over no, and you, flip around. I yeah, get it. It's I see got it. a double attachment on it. And that. So you have I, thought, you put some brain power behind this I, one. I, I used one of these for two years before I even brought it out. Right. Making changes all the time. And then I'd have to send it back. I'd have to turn it in. I used one of my old ones. Polar bear. Come on. I had this polar bear hunt. Did you yeah. have it on the polar bear hunt? Oh, yeah. I yeah. asked him about He's told me the polar bear story about three times. I ask him every year. I enjoy hearing it. Yeah. What a hunt. What it, a tremendous it, hunt. It was. It was It was neat. It's. But you had this bino case. You were testing oh, the absolutely. prototype version. Absolutely. Yeah. Everything I have, I, you I took there, and it was in 25 below weather and laying out in sleds all night. And, that kind and of stuff. you've got this in the hands of some pretty hardcore hunters now. Yeah, I mean, guys are starting to get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that, yeah. I know it's, one guy that's really been putting it through its paces. And, I mean, he, he goes after a lot of critters. So, anyway, long story short, that's the bino case. 
I, I, I digress. I want to move no. on here because, yeah, I, dude, I have seen this is getting quite a bit of buzz. And you want to talk? Is that denier? What is that? It's, it's uh, the denier. Yeah. Or, yeah. This thing it is, is nylon. built nylon. Look at this thing. Talk to us about it. Yeah, uh, it came up for this, and this guy's are really digging. Has an arrow, a place on here. On the one side, you can Keep put going. your. I just want to make sure I'm getting it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can put your arrows in, your arrow box in here. Yeah, yeah. And uh, in here, close your bow and you take down bow or whatever, and you're close. And then we have side pockets so you can stay organized and find things. I actually take those little plastic uh, containers you buy that are divided. Put my knocks, put extra plano, like a little whatever. plano box. Yeah, or a little plano box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll put one or two in here. They'll fit. Um, whatever you got, it just it's it's so nice. You know, I I load this up. I was going down to Maryland uh, secret deer hunting. I could just load this up with what I needed and take this. Your whole hunt's in this bag. My whole hunt. <laughs> and that's what I got. Yeah. I just sold some this weekend to guys that are doing that. They're going to put their bows, their clothes. They're going to Africa. You don't need any clothes to go to Africa. They do your laundry every day. Right, right. And, and stuff. Bucket so, less for me. Yep. I would yeah. like to go to Africa with you, oh, by the way. If you don't mind. The next time you go, give me a call. Will I, will. <laughs> I will. No, in true fashion, here's the deal with Randy. Every, every year we do these shows, I come around. And I check his, his quality of his stuff. It's safari tough. Okay. So he builds things. You can't, I mean, I know you have repeat customers, but once you buy one of these bags, what other, I mean, that's the problem. You almost work yourself out of business. I'm not going to buy this bag. For, this will be the last bag that I own. Yeah. I mean, if this no, is this is what yeah, I want. And we stand behind everything, too. I mean, they I, just last right. And I can stand behind it because I really never get anything back. Right, <laughs> right. Know, no. Tabs are mm-hmm. lot. Guys are sitting hey, for five, six years. You would love I, to get something back, but I, I, I want to meet that guy that wears out your stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do I do have one other thing. What is it? It's We we had the Aeromaster, the back quiver you wear yeah, like oh, this, yeah. Paris. Well, we made it, designed a new one, called it a wingman. And we put mollies on the back and straps, and you can put your jacket in there. That, but what guys are doing, they're taking their two piece longbows, putting them in a two piece longbow case, strap it on here. They got arrows and everything, and they're just going like that. I gotta tell you what, shameless plug for Whiskey City Trad Gear, but I have some molly gear out that would attach right to this. And you guys know, oh, you guys know the extra pouches and whatever. I mean, they're. They're nothing proprietary about them. Anything yeah. Molly, anything Molly that you don't carry, I mean, they can find elsewhere, honestly, and it would just, anything Molly would attach on that. But I have a friend, um, he's, he's a world champion long day shooter, his name's Kenny Jordan, that runs, oh, yeah. this, that runs this, and he loves it. He absolutely loves it. He hunts out of it. So every deer season, he, this is the way he packs to the woods. Puts it in this tree, believe it or not. So oh, yeah. He can get to the arrows that's what quickly. I do. He that's elevates what I do. it. He elevates it where he can get to the arrows quickly. And so everybody knows, too, we have an optional rain cover oh, that's that, goes, nice. that goes on here. That's nice. And it'll keep this way is the final final thing for keeping your broadheads dry. And oh, all the leaves, nice. needles, nice. everything out of there. Yeah. And, uh, so, so mid, mid, Midwestern the whitetail, is that your hot one? Right? <laughs> That's my hot one. <laughs> so Midwestern whitetail. So you go out, you got your bow, and you basically this is your pack. You've got enough to put in here, your range finder, your tag, your glove, your arm, whatever you need. This is your pack, and it's got a rain cover, the whole nine yards. You put that in the tree, put that in the tree so off to the side of your stand or whatever, or in the blind. You've got all kind of room in the blind, but in the tree, that's what a friend does, and it's just... It's, it's a caddy. It's, a, it's, it's and everything you need. Guys are always saying, is it hard to use? It's just like anything. You use it enough, it's just second nature. Exactly. I, I missed a mountain goat on a hunt. I grabbed another arrow out and, and shot it. And my guide was, I can't believe how fast you got an arrow out of there. I mean, that's what he noticed. Single string tape folk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Stick bow folk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's trad right there. <laughs> But he was just shocked. We'll it's just like anything. You get used to it. You use it, it a lot. Kind of yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. second nature. Yeah, no, absolutely. But I tell you what, folks, if you get a chance, and the, let me see. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm going to shamelessly plug one thing. Just, just stay right there. Everybody stay right there. Cone out of frame for a second. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Now, that is a Viking. This is what? This, yeah. I don't know what. Like, yeah, and it's all food grade. I mean, I uh, you can, in Minnesota. it's like a Viking. It, he, this is made. Oh, yeah, look yeah, at it's, that. It's made in Minnesota. Look at it's that. Minnesota. 
Folks, this is this is some top quality stuff. Oh, it is. It, is. it really is. It's beautiful. I'm going to leave the show with one of these. I promise you that. But I like this. And then you got some stuff coming out down the line. Now I don't want. It's not my story to tell. You don't have to tell it here. No, but we're not far off now. You're not far we're, off. We're, we're coming out with the Safari Cup barrel line. Jeez, we've been said it. We, we love been, it. We've been testing them and uh, beating the heck out of them. And I uh, actually went to my good friend, Denny Sturgis Jr. He's got a 74-pound longbow. Gave him some. And he went out with those G5 blunts with the three arms on it. And he was trying his best to break them, blasting them off trees, knots on trees. Oh, yeah. Just if, going out if, the if woods, you tearing see, them off. If you want to see anything that can get damaged or tore up, like, a, a, you know, give Denny a rubber mallet. He'll, yeah. he'll bust up an yeah. animal. Yeah. You exactly. know what I mean? So, so yeah. as far as field testing... Your buddy Denny's the best guy to get oh, him to. He called me up and says, you really want me to do this? I said, Denny, I got to know. I, 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 I got to know. So, so he, he's been, and he's still been doing it, working through the test, and he had the ball for Now, this is a question that everybody's going to ask me, and I'll see it down in the uh, messages under this video. They'll start asking, what spines, what length? Yeah, you know, the, well, and I know you're not quite there yet. They're going to be max. They're probably going to be 32 inches long. Yeah, like, right. The spines are going to go from 600 yeah, to 250. Oh wow! So we'll have a pretty good spine. Right. And, 32. Uh, yeah. And they're two. They're 204 shafts. Okay. And okay. we're going to offer hit I just, I a hit. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, the good thing about I, one of the things we're doing, and we're trying to make this so. It's more reasonable. Cause arrows have gotten the cost oh, so bad, and buying all this extras and all that. So what we're going to do is, when you go on our website and you order, to, you pick the shaft, then you pick your knot color, and we're going to have like five or six different knot colors, and then you'll pick what insert you want, and then you'll pick if you want knot collars, then you'll pick if you want uh, point collars. And so you're going nobody, to be, nobody, and they'll, nobody's be, doing and they'll that. be at a reduced price than like just it. buying them by the dozen. I like too. it. Nobody's doing that. Yeah. And, and that, 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 that you know, I, I know you try to keep costs down as Absolutely. much as you can. Everything for you as well and us and, and people in this industry, it's all going up. Yeah. But, you know, and, and you don't sacrifice quality, you know, because of the. What you have to do, it's it's pricey. You know, it's pricey to make this back. Exactly. You know, I build everything so that no one can call me back. And exactly. Say, this, there's you something no wrong terms. here. There's something right. wrong there. I mean, nothing's a hundred percent. Right. Right. Because right. there's things. Sometimes people, everybody's different. You're Somebody right. just might not quite like something. Right. But, no, I guess. But regardless, everything is built. So no, I don't get phone calls. And these sh <laughs> these shafts are going to be no different. No, they won't. Yeah. So they're carbon they're, carbon shafts. They're going to be a carbon two hundred four. Two hundred four shaft. Yeah. It'll be uh, two fifty spine up to six hundred. Down to six hundred. down to six hundred. Yeah. I'm sorry, opposite direction. Yeah. And uh, thirty two inches in length. You're going to have the comments. Well, why not offer the longer thirty four inch arrow? I know. For them I gappers know. out there, and I'm one of them. Yeah. I'm one of them. Yeah. I know. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. The guys with 30, 31 inch draws. And I know one mountain at a time, one yeah. mountain at a time. But will you keep it in mind? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, and, you know, we're just getting yeah. going. Oh, yeah. Doing I know you're still in the zone. So, you're in R&D yeah. yeah. phase. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and we I have, can't believe you brought we, it out. We have good. We have some coming. Um, they're going to be available in probably, we're hoping, in the next month and a half. Oh, my gosh. Months. You're closer than I thought yeah. you were. You're like, closer than I thought you were. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I know what. You know, I, I know with the testing you combine and stuff, like you say, and you got them to Denny and the whole nine yards. Oh, I got, we got them to a whole bunch of people. Oh, I guarantee Tom, Tom, yeah. got them. We got them. We got them. We're not there. You know, they're for everybody. It's a big market, and Safari yeah. Tough's jumping in there like Randy does. He does everything it's head first. Market, it's a tough market, but he's jumping in there head first. And, yeah. you know, Randy is a single string guy. I support single string people. I'm a trad guy myself. Not, don't get me wrong. I have nothing against any of the rest of them. But, no. brother, I'll always support you. If you bring it out, I'll support you. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks, Randy. I appreciate you.